Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Congrexus Prime, aka UL Tactus. I want to salute all my Aces High 3 pilots. This introduction to this video is for Talking Tactus with Tactus uh, number two. This is again a play by play video. If you're not interested in watching uh, somebody talk over a video and, and give explanations and give uh, tactical advice, then by all means, please uh, skip the rest of this video. And if not, uh, thank you for watching. All right, this engagement starts with me uh, chasing down another Yak-3. I'm in a Yak-3 myself, and I'm chasing them down uh, when I noticed that the, uh, above me right there, there's a high P-40, I want to say. He was about uh, 10,000, maybe 12,000 feet higher than I was. I think my current altitude right there is about uh, 10,000 feet or so, or 8,000 feet. He was about uh, you know, 10 or 12 higher than me. So I would assume he's at 20,000 feet. That was my initial assumption. So I double backed because I no longer have a one-on-one -on -one fight with a Yak-3 and not a favorable one at that because now I have a higher contact uh, zooming back. So the other Yak-3 decided to, uh, of course, you know, re-engage now that he had help from the top um, and, and, and no longer had a disadvantage. Um, so I start peeling out this way I get very lucky here that Bulldog um, was in the area coming from another field uh, and was higher enough that he could uh, actually, you know, engage one of these contacts, which I think he, uh, the Yak-3 peels up to the top and uh, he engages the Yak-3. So now I'm left with the diving P-40 that has uh, both altitude, speed, and energy. So he has basically the, the, the three things that you need to do to be in an advantage position in this game, which he has it right here. So now I'm, I'm boxed in. I, if I climb over this mountain, this P40 is going to catch me, hands down, and I'll be flat with energy, and I didn't want that to happen. So what I did, I started uh, fainting towards the right and, get, and showing him the direction that I wanted to intentionally go. And as he got closer to about 800, so I pulled hard back on the stick. And I did a high chandelle turn to the to the right. And I'm watching to see right there. See, I want to see where his energy state is. And he decides to use some rudder right there, see, and, and slow down. And I'm starting to see that now we're equal energy. Now he's in trouble because he bled off his advantage. His aircraft is no match for Yak-3 in any phases of flight. So right here, I'm going to give him a weird... You know, a weird shot, boom, and I try to, I try to get an angle shot, but I missed. And now I know that I pretty much have this fight in the, in, 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 in the hand. I just have to, it's my fight to lose at this point. So he's rolling. He's trying to, to, uh, to, to try to out turn me in a P40, which I don't think he realized that that's not going to be possible in a P40. And boom, see, I line up the shot and uh, that's game over right there. Um, again, he had all the advantage in the world. But he didn't have the better aircraft. I did. All right, so we're on the outside view now of the P-40. And uh, see, I'm, I'm baiting him. I have my wings turned to the right. And I'm gradually just turning, just giving him, giving him a, a hint of what direction I want to go. And all I'm trying to do is bait him. So I, I pull hard back on the stick there. Boom. Do a high 45-degree uh, chandelier turn. And uh, he follows. He starts bleeding off his energy. He had a shot there. But I used a little rudder flick, so I kind of like angled my airplane in his direction. And then I counter by rolling in the opposite direction with opposite rudder. And that kind of gave him a, a fake angle, which, which he didn't have. And now it's just a matter of me uh, using uh, the Yak-3's ability to be able to outturn the P-40 and roll myself into position for a shot. When I know I have him dead to rights, I know he was dead. He really have any more options. I, I get in close and I, uh, I make... Uh, I make a close in shot. You'll see right there in a second. And see, I'm taking my time. Boom, I squeeze the trigger, game over. This will be the second part and it's titled Using Energy and Keeping It. Uh, this next video that I'm gonna walk you guys through, it's gonna be a situation where I have altitude, energy, and speed versus two enemy contacts uh, with the same airplane that I'm flying. So um, it's pretty fun, pretty interesting how it all rolled out, and I'm going to walk you through the fight, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy it. Okay, so I'm up at about 12,500 feet, and uh, 
I'm looking around to see what's going on. I, we don't have no radar in this uh, particular base. It was taken out, and I noticed that Bulldog is down there with two Yak 3s on him. And I'm, I'm coming down to help him. I let him know, hey, I'm coming down. But as I'm making my dive, he uh, he gets taken out. And now I have a situation here where I have uh, two aircrafts either smartly break apart. One goes uh, north, the other one goes south, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, where they mess up, it's going to be later on. And I'll point it out to you guys. So I'm diving down. I'm screaming down. I'm maintaining uh, as much speed as I can maintain in this Yak-3, which is about uh, 470 or so, give or take. Before I start losing something, so I missed. But I don't immediately try to turn or nothing like that. I just zoom right back up, use all that, all the energy I have, and just keep going up. And I, as soon as I get to the apex of, of my uh, my speed right here, we see I'm reducing down to like 180, 160, 170, 150, 120. Then I roll over, manage, and then I start looking around. See, the, the, the Yaks made an initial break, which was smart, but they never separated. What they should have done is continue going until you lose icon range, and one guy takes care of dodging me until he gets altitude or, or equals out with me and it comes down, but he doesn't do that. Now, this Yak um starts to do a roll here a rolling maneuver and i i smell it and i get in front of him because he didn't use his rudder and that's what caused him to get shot down was that he did a flat roll i smelt it i did the same maneuver but i implemented rudder into it so i was able to get my nose out in front of him and that's how i was able to shoot him down and it hadn't been for that um, if he had also implemented rudder, then I would have equaled out and I wouldn't have been able to take that shot. So it was a pretty uh, high high probability that I was going to miss that shot. But I just I just had a good a good feel for it at that time. And now uh, now the yak, the second yak, his buddy, uh, starts to run and egress out of here, which is, you know, I, mean, I, I would probably do the same thing considering uh, I have more energy. Now what's going to happen here is I'm looking at my fuel and uh, my fuel gauge is saying less than a quarter tank and you know that's that's the biggest weakness of the yak is uh, it has short legs so I can't chase him for a half a sector which I probably could have chased him and caught him so I, I start to see that he has no intention of fighting as I am getting closure I'm not closing that much and he still has a little bit of cushion of altitude so he, he puts his nose down now we're almost even in, in in energy so i decided here to kind of like faint to my right see if he turns but he didn't turn so i said all right let me just rtv this and, and call it a day uh we're gonna go ahead and go to the outside view of my first initial kill and then we'll see how uh how that happens so we're in the outside view of the uh, uh, opponent or enemy yak three that uh, i take that shot uh, using implementing rudder as I as I skid in in front of his row and I take the shot. So now uh, he's looking back, trying to get position uh, where I'm at, and uh, he sees me and he starts a little right-handed turn. But I know he's gonna backwash to the right right here, and I start to see his row and I just get out in front of it. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. And that's how like at real speed. We're going to back up now in a second, and I'm going to go half speed so you guys can really see uh, how I get my nose out in front of them. All right, so I'm going to back this up now, and we're going to go at half speed so that you can actually see how this is from my point of view against uh, the enemy Yak. So he starts his roll. I smell the roll. I roll out, and then I use rudder right there. Boom, and I get the shot. So that's that's at half speed. And that's pretty much came over. Well, this will summarize both uh, engagements. One, I was in a pinch and uh, was able to get out of it. And the other one, I had the advantage and I kept the advantage. Uh, and I was able to, you know, overcome that one as well, even though it was a uh, two-on-one. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to continue making these videos as long as you guys uh, want me to make these videos. Uh, so just please, uh, you know, leave a comment. Uh, you know, some input of any type will be uh, greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching. Congrexus out.